The dress code for the fundraiser is fancy glam. Grace Fraser's fashion isn't just for show. It represents how she slowly comes undone. The Undoing's iconic fashion moments aren't only about wealth, either. They represent how complex and fragile Grace really is. From eye-catching coats to that mesmerizing maxi dress, here's what the psychologist's costumes really say about her family's fall from Grace. But be warned, there are some spoilers ahead. Whatever secrets you continue to harbor for her, it's my business. Grace's iconic green coat paired with her wild hair definitely give us witchy vibes. Designed by Signe Selland, the coat highlights how Grace dresses differently from her Upper East Side friends, like Sylvia. Grace's green coat is more mysterious. While she definitely stands out, green also represents envy and how the audience views Grace as an elite. When her life starts to unravel, the coat itself seems to ask us whether or not we pity her, since she lives in such a privileged world. Or tell me I'm free to go. The coat also has a large hood that she never actually wears, but exists for her to protect herself if she needs to. But as we know from her father, Grace never likes to explain herself or ask for help. I just need a little unconditional support from my loving father right now. That would be nice. Grace has many choices of outerwear, which show off her bohemian style as a rebellion from the status quo. Walking by herself and standing out is symbolic of her independence. The mix of colors she often wears, while still going so well together, also represent her indecisiveness in stressful situations. This red coat is an example, but pales in comparison to her striking all-red look. The rich red color obviously makes us think of the gruesome crime committed, but also shows us how well Grace can pull herself together. The red tones exist harmoniously with her red hair, while also mixing complementary colors and fabrics. I just want to ask a few questions, if that's okay. Of course. We can't help but wonder, why all the long coats? They suggest that Grace is fragile and needs protection, but that she also might be hiding something. I don't know what I think. Grace's gorgeous Givenchy gown, paired with a royal embroidered cape, is one of her best fashion moments before her life takes a terrible turn. At the fundraiser, both her and Elena look like different versions of a Greek goddess. They're depicted as two sides of the same coin, both with wild hair. Thank you for your kindness. The dress has a low neckline, wide sleeves, and an open back. It's the most liberating look we see Grace in. We notice that her chest is very visible, which symbolizes her heart and love as her weakness. Grace complements the look with mauve lipstick, bringing out the dress's colors. They change depending on the lighting, like how the story continually changes in our minds and Grace's, depending on who you believe is guilty. <sighs> she was upset. Like the maxi dress, Grace's clothing is often made of soft and feminine fabrics, but most of her body is covered and she tends to wear sophisticated cuts. This satin suit is masculine despite the soft, flowy fabric. It represents her strength, but also her fragility, when she confronts her father about believing in and supporting her instead of vilifying her husband. Exactly how weak do you think I am? Grace's love of contrasting fabrics is also highlighted with this silk blouse and suede skirt combo. She also wears tights, not allowing any of her skin to show. She's not just protecting herself from the cold, but also the reality of her circumstances. This contrast is pretty obvious throughout the whole series. This feminine fabric and cut in particular is a good example of the contrast between her fashion and a high stakes moment. Are you okay? Fine, I promise. Just as Grace always covers herself, scarves and bows offer a visualization of her struggling to keep herself together. The scarves, which she wears from the very first moment we meet her, and bows on her blouses, all have knots. The symbolism of them coming undone as she does, or being undone, highlights her vulnerability. In essence, the knots unravel as the character does. There is a certain stigma attached to a public defender. <laughs> Turtlenecks and high-neck outfits also offer protection, and Grace wears them in almost every scene. The high-neck cuts illustrate Grace's need to keep everything inside. She's constantly holding on to herself, trying not to fall apart, like when she visits Jonathan in jail. I would never take a human life. I don't know anything. Even when the color stands out, turtlenecks are worn like a shield. She might still dress like an elite, but she's not willing to bare her neck and show her true vulnerability. 
I know how close you and your dad are. Grace is obviously a perfectionist, only offset by her wild hair. Her jewelry is a huge element of this perfectionism. Her rings, in particular, are high-end but dreamy, symbolizing her self-expression and meticulous attention to detail. Selen shared that one ring has a lion on it. It's not very noticeable, but goes to show the subtle details that helped create the character and her undeniable strength, especially as a lioness protecting her child. Let's go. We're gonna be late for Grandpa. The boots Grace wears are also perfect for her character arc. They're sturdy but elegant, suede and rich in color. They have heels and match her many coats, which illustrate more than needing to wear boots in winter. She takes time to make sure that her boots, mostly hidden, are perfectly coordinated. When she wears heels to court, however, they're quite different from what we usually see her in. Uh, where were you then? This cream-colored look without black tights or boots is a big change for Grace. It's more understated, but Grace keeps some of her personality on display with the elegant details. This illustrates her discomfort with her situation, but also that court will end up being the place where she can finally speak the truth and set herself free. Is Grace Fraser 2020's fashion icon? Let us know which of her outfits is your favorite in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.